this is Dead Space 2, the sequel to the sleeper hit Dead Space released in 2008 for the PS3 and Xbox 360. And this is supposed to be a survival horror game which puts you into the shoes of Isaac Clarke, who is an engineer, and uh, who has a thing for honor, guilt, and bad luck. So Dead Space 2 starts off about three years after the first game, and Isaac wakes up from a coma. After surviving a horrifying alien infestation aboard a ship called the Ishimura, and he wakes to find himself hunted by the government, fighting dementia and being also stalked by nightmarish visions of his dead girlfriend, Nicole. And, oh yeah, there's one more thing. The fact that he must survive another uh, another outbreak of the Necromorphs uh, infestation, which is basically the infected monsters from, you know, the first game. So uh, the story for what it is is actually surprisingly good. You know, I actually haven't played the first game, and going into this, I was worried that if, you know, if this was a direct sequel, it would be, I would be completely lost, you know? So, uh, however, the developers were generous enough to actually include a video that brought all new players up to date uh, with the storyline and where it stood. So, um, you know, I really appreciated that from them. The main difference from Dead Space 2 and its predecessor is that Isaac is more lively and is just an overall more believable character. You know, uh, to my knowledge, Isaac never interacted with any of the characters from the first game. And uh, with the sequel, he's in constant radio, radio contact and uh, conversations with the whole cast. Uh, so that was pretty cool. You got to experience what his personality was like. So I really uh, enjoyed that about the game. And, uh, you know, so, you know, yeah, it just definitely made the whole game uh, more enjoyable. And uh, it, increased the, it increased the impact of the storyline to a greater standard. So, you know, I also appreciate that uh, as well. So what I particularly enjoyed about this game was the visual styling and the art direction that they took. Uh, this game reminded me of the original Bioshock, which is one of my favorite horror games of all time. And it reminded me of Bioshock because during the first half of the game, you were constantly taken through apartments and stores that have huge neon banners and have been advertising propaganda. And uh, when you get to visualize where you actually are, you can see that you are abandoned on this huge space station or city that you absolutely have no way out of. And uh, also, you get to experience space firsthand in this game. So you'll be able to uh, basically move freely in zero gravity and uh, even have the opportunity to roam around space and see this incredible view of Saturn. And the sense of scale is outstanding. I mean, when you're watching, when you're watching this, you get this feeling of amazement that you normally wouldn't get from any other survival horror game. And uh, this game, and this game does an outstanding job at delivering cinematic, intense gameplay, and more about the visual styling that you may think you're confined in this space. But when you actually get to view the whole station from space, uh, you get you get to see how large the scale of the environment is. I mean, you will visit a variety of locales that will bring you know surprises from every single corner. Uh, so that's really awesome. You know, you're not just going to be base. You're not just bleh, you're not just going to be basically visiting the same spot every, you know, single time. Uh, so that's also pretty cool. Centrifuge online. I'm heading no. back towards the tram station. Damn, I'm not. Okay. Not true. I've almost got us disconnected no, no, from the no, magra. No, no, no. Keep me.
So the gameplay is a typical third-person shooter, but you'll be constantly be solving puzzles, uh, looking for items and ammo, and exploring this horrific environment. I mean, the only problem with this game uh, that I have is one out of is one out of ninety five percent of games usually have. I mean, this is a problem that has persisted through games. It is not really a new thing at all, and that is the overflow. They overflow you with a large number of enemies that you can't handle. I mean, I remember. I was in this one spot where I was in this small laboratory and I was constantly being, you know, thrown, kind th enemies were constantly being thrown at me from every single direction. It was just so much to handle and it really, you know, pisses you off at times. You're, probably, you're watching this and you're like, you know, why can't, why did they do this? And they respawn you at, you know, either a checkpoint or your last save. So, I mean, thankfully this doesn't happen too often, but, you know, it was still an annoyance when you, when I, you know, when you get into a specific part and you die and you have to respawn at your last manual save location. Uh, but don't worry, you know, this game does have checkpoints and stuff and uh, you'll be thankful it does. <laughs> Trust me. So, overall, Dead Space 2 is an outstanding single-player adventure. Uh, the game also has a multiplayer uh, that I will be trying out later. Um, and if you bought this game on PS3, you got this limited edition disc, which also gave you the opportunity to get Dead Space Extraction, which is a little side uh, arcade uh, uh, first-person shooter that basically is meant for the PS move, but you can also play this on a DualShock controller, so... Uh, I will be trying that out as well. Uh, but for the single player campaign, you know, this game delivers one that will constantly have your heart pumping and stopping. And it's a really unique experience. So, you know, this game, I have to say that this game gets a well deserved 9 out of 10. Really excellent. I love the characters. And every single step uh, through, you know, this game was just throwing surprises at me from every single corner. So, awesome game. And uh, there's a there's a little teaser at, at the end of the credits, so you guys should check it out. It's for Dead Space 3. So, see you later. 9 out of 10. I would never. But son, Daddy's not a murderer. Strauss, I would Strauss. never hurt He's not me. real. Yes, he is. You can't see him because you haven't taken the steps, Strauss. You will make put down the step screwdriver. Three. Step 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but he stopped talking, he won't look at me. How's it going at your- <laughs> 